to snow to cold. Yeah, we've had it all around here the past few days. Now we're finally going to be able to take a deep reprieve, deep sigh of relief and get a nice break in the weather around here. It's still chilly outside tonight. Temperatures are hovering around the freezing mark, and if you've been outside, you know it's a cold evening because we've still got a pretty nice breeze at the moment. Look at this, 31 at the airport, but it still feels like it's in the low 20s, and it's going to remain awfully chilly right through the night tonight. But most importantly, radar finally quiet around here. We are done with our first bout of old man winter radar is on a clean sweep. I don't expect any additional snow or ice while we sleep tonight. Temperatures around the area, you know, they really haven't budged much. In fact, even during the day today, and this just goes to show you one, two, three degrees can make a huge difference. That's what saved us later on this afternoon and allowed all the ice to melt. We barely crept our way above freezing. We only made it up to about 33, 34 this afternoon. So temperatures didn't climb too high, but they were just high enough to melt the ice. And in most cases, the round of snow that came through later on this evening, temperatures were still above freezing. So a lot of that didn't stick either unless you were to our east where it snowed a little heavier for an extended period of time. And I believe that's where you could actually run into maybe a few areas of refreeze tomorrow morning. Once you get out into the areas east of Cincinnati, we're a little more rural here in the parts of Claremont, Brown, Adams, Highland, Clinton counties. Some of those secondary roads could be a little tricky in the morning as well as down in the parts of northern Kentucky. But for the most part around the metro, temperatures are hovering within a degree or two of that freezing mark. And as we saw last night with the ice, despite temperatures being cold enough, the pavement temperatures, the surface temperatures are still a little too warm. It's still a little too early in the winter season. It's really actually fall. I should say that we won't have much of a refreeze issue around here tonight. So temperatures will slowly slip their way back towards 30 by morning underneath mostly cloudy skies and by morning. A few areas will have fallen into the upper 20s once you get away from the city, but temperatures won't drop much overnight, generally in the upper 20s to right around 30. Tomorrow's going to be a chilly day in the areas that had some light accumulations of snow, especially north and east of Cincinnati. Temperatures may be stuck in the middle to upper 30s, but along the Ohio River and point south where we'll get into some sunshine. I think we sneak our way into the the low 40s. So that weather system is now well to our east. There's the last of the snow you can see chasing its way into the Appalachians. For us now, we're just waiting for the back edge of the clouds to clear and the cloud cover extends all the way back towards the Indiana Illinois state line. So probably around sunrise, we'll begin to see some breaks in the clouds and you'll see from this aside from some clouds from time to time. Overall, the weather looks very quiet around here heading into the upcoming weekend. Our next real chance for anything to really fall from the sky would be Sunday evening when we could see some rain and or snow showers, but that doesn't look like a big deal. So all in all, it's a much more tranquil weather weekend, just chilly for this time of the year. So mostly cloudy and cold tonight. Again, in most instances, not worried about a refreeze to the east of us. That may be a possibility in more rural areas around 30 by morning tomorrow. A mixture of sun and clouds with a chilly breeze 42 for your afternoon high. Keep in mind, we should be in the mid 50s still, so these temperatures are awfully chilly. You can see 40 around lunchtime and then into the low 40s late. Here's your seven day forecast. How about this for a change, Mike and Sheree? Have you thought about this? It won't rain on a Friday night tomorrow night around here, so that's something to be optimistic about. And as you can see there, the seven day forecast chilly for this time of the year again. But how about this pushing 50 on Wednesday? That's a big travel day. Thanksgiving Day looks awfully nice. And beyond that, there may be a 60 coming. How think about how long it's been since we've gotten there, maybe for Black Friday shoppers. Just a nice little sigh of relief to have a 60 degree day to look forward to. Well, Kevin Kevin was mentioning Black Friday shopping, but also light up the square that night. That's right.